smooth zoom transitions. Let's get into it. So I am here in my Premiere where I've prepared these two clips where I will create a smooth zoom transition between them the way that I like to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to my project, right click new item, adjust my layer like so, and hit OK and just drag this on top of our clips. And I will go seven frames to the left. So I will hold on shift and press the left arrow key once and then release shift and just press twice. One, two, and that is seven frames from the clip. I will go to the middle of the clip again by holding down shift and pressing the down arrow. And I will go 14 frames to the right. I do that by holding down shift and pressing the right arrow key three times, one, two, three, and then releasing shift and pressing the left arrow key once to go back one frame. So now we have seven and 14 frames. Very nice. Next up, we want to apply an effect called replicate. It is here under stylize. Just apply that and change the replicate count to three. Very nice. Next up, you want to search for an effect called mirror. It is on distort. And just apply that to the adjustment layer as well. Here we want to create some mirrors to get rid of these harsh edges. So just follow along and copy what I'm doing here. So this first one, 1279. I will apply another mirror, change the reflection angle to 90. And this one, I think it is 639, 719. Is that correct? Yeah, nice. So now you can see we have these smooth edges here. Now we'll apply another one and change the reflection angle to 180 and just drag the reflection angle all the way to the left to something like here. I think the precise number is 640, like so. And apply another one and change the reflection angle to 270 and just drag it up a little bit to something like right around here. Let's do 360, I think that's the correct number. Very nice. All right, let's just close this up. We have a lot going on here. All right, so next up, I will go over to my effects and search for an effect called Transform under here, under Distort, and just apply that to the adjustment layer like so. And I will change the scale to 300. And this might seem a little bit counterproductive, but it will all make sense in a second. So I'm going to go to the start of my adjustment layer over here and enable keyframes on scale. And I will go to where our clips meet. Just go one second to the left, because this is the last frame of the first clip. And I will change the scale to 525. So it is very zoomed in. And then I will go one frame forward to where the new clip starts showing. And here I will put the scale to 200. And then I will go to where our adjustment layer ends and I will put the scale again to 300. Very nice. So now we have this thing going on. Very cool. And the reason why the start is half as slow as the end is because I like it to fade in slow and nice. But um, anyways, next up, I'm going to open my scale keyframes here and I will click the first keyframe and hit ease out. And this one, the last one, I will hit ease in. And just so we have a little bit of room to work with, I will just extend the adjustment a little bit. But in here, I will click our first keyframe and I will just drag this bar here. So we get like a smooth ramp, but be careful you don't drag it too much because we don't want any negative zoom values. We only want this scale to increase from the keyframe. If you drag it too much down, it will first decrease and then increase as you can see, and we don't want that. And I will do the same thing at the end. And you can see the scale just increases. That is very nice. Now we have this very smooth zoom. I like that. I really like that. Last thing, just to really sell this effect, the reason why we're using the transform tool is because we can click this button here, use composition shutter angle, click that off and put the shutter angle to 180. This will give us some blur when we have some movement. Very smooth, very, very smooth. But anyways, that was all I had for you today in this short tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. But anyways, take care guys. Bye bye.